first state visit by a Kenyan head of state in two decades, and the first by an African head of state since 2008. The visit demonstrates a robust partnership between Kenya and the United States, and is a fitting tribute to 60 years uh, of diplomatic ties that we are celebrating as Kenya and the United States. During this period, Kenya and the United States have enjoyed deepening and mutually beneficial cooperation at bilateral and multilateral levels, resulting in the elevation of the relationship in 2018 to a strategic partnership. The strategic partnership establishes a structure for continued interstate Kenya-US bilateral strategic dialogue anchored on five main themes, and I'll read them. One, economic prosperity through trade and investment. Two, defense cooperation. Three, democracy, governance, and civilian security four multilateral and regional issues, and five health cooperation. It is in this context uh, of pursuing tangible outcomes in each of these critical result areas that accelerated cooperation has led to the gracious invitation uh, of President Ruto by his counterpart, President Joe Biden of the United States of America. The visit is themed Partnership for Prosperity and aims to bolster shared commitments to economic growth, democratic values, peace and security, and reflects the strategic importance of Kenya to the U.S. as a leading regional anchor and the main commercial gateway to Eastern Africa. The visit builds on existing partnership to highlight the following key thematic areas. One, shared values including democratic governance. This includes people-to-people -people ties, health partnerships, as I said, and promotion of the creative economy. There will be several meetings towards uh, that effect. Two, security cooperation for peace, security, and sustainable development. Three, trade and investment for shared prosperity, and there will be announcements to that effect as well. And digital technology cooperation, which of course delivers innovation, progress, and inclusion. Kenya and the U.S. share a strong bond of friendship, evidenced by the exchange of high-level visits between the two countries. Uh, since December 2022, Kenya and the U.S. have enhanced bilateral and multilateral engagements through our participation in the U.S.-Africa Summit, the third bilateral strategic dialogue in April 2023, the National Prayer Breakfast in February 2024, and roadshows uh, in Chicago and New York, among others, late last year. Following the roadshows, there has been an increase in investments by U.S. tech companies in Kenya, and we'll see more, of course, as we head to the state visit, or as the President heads to the state visit. This include the companies, that is, Microsoft, Google, Cisco, IBM, Kiosk, and Sun Culture, among others. I'll now go to the itinerary, uh, starting tomorrow in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, President uh, Ruto's visit will commence there. He'll visit the Qatar Presidential Library and Museum to emphasize the two countries' shared commitment to governance, democratic values, and anti-corruption efforts. His remarks there will underline uh, the importance uh, of um, democracies working collaboratively to tackle global challenges. The President will then visit Ebenezer Baptist Church to pay homage to the civil rights struggle and emphasize how religion can be a force for good. This visit will underscore the respect for historical struggles for equality and justice. The third area of engagement tomorrow, that is on Monday 20th, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, will focus on the U.S.-Kenya Health Partnership at the Center for Disease Control, CDC headquarters. Among key announcements will include the new cdc Kemri Partnership, and more details, of course, will be shared uh, to that effect. The President and the First Lady will then be hosted by Kenya's strong diaspora in Atlanta. Uh, of course, we we'll focus on the diaspora as a force multiplier in national transformation, as envisioned in the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. On Tuesday, still in Atlanta, Georgia, the President commences his second day at Spelman College, where he will discuss the critical role of higher education, particularly science and technology in enhancing Kenya's human capital development, which is critical to attracting investment uh, that solidify Kenya as an appealing destination for tech jobs for both present and future needs. At Tyler Perry Studios, which he will also visit, President Ruto will explore opportunities uh, within the creative economy, highlighting it as a potential job creator and an area of robust partnership between Kenya and the United States. The President will then shift attention to trade and investment with a visit to Coca-Cola, where new investment partnerships will be announced. He will also then launch Vivo's inaugural store in America. That's a leading Kenyan retail fashion enterprise, showcasing the power of Kenyan women uh, entrepreneurs. Mayor Andre Dickens of Atlanta and the Atlanta CEO's Council will then host the president uh, who will seek to position Kenya as an important regional manufacturing hub. Uh, after that, the president and the first lady 
will travel to Washington, D.C. on Wednesday, uh, May 22nd, arriving at, Saint and uh, sorry, at Andrews Air Force Base, where they will be officially received with full ceremonial state honors. The President will have extensive engagements at the Hill, where he'll meet a bipartisan congressional delegation under the chairmanship of the Speaker of the House, meet with the Black Congressional Caucus, and hold discussions with the bipartisan caucus of the Senate, led by Senator Schumer, uh, who's the majority uh, leader there, and Senator McConnell, minority leader. In his meetings at the Hill, the President will apprise the legislators on the challenges faced by democracies on the continent and the urgent need for America's tangible and practical uh, engagement with the continent. He will brief the legislators on the dual crisis of climate change and conflicts in the region and Kenya's leadership in dealing with these challenges. In urging Congress to be cognizant of the need for African goods to continue accessing the U.S. markets on preferential basis, the President will implore Congress to extend the Africa Growth uh, and Opportunities Act, better known as AGOA. On Thursday, which is the main day of the President's state visit to the United States, the President and the First Lady will lay a wreath at Arlington National Cemetery to honor the sacrifices of American soldiers as well as historic figures such as Thurgood Marshall and John F. Kennedy, who have had profound impacts on the history of Kenya. He will hold the main bilateral meetings with his host, President Biden, and delve deeper into Kenya-U.S. Uh, economic, health, and security partnership, and discuss regional developments on the continent, highlighting their fragilities and opportunities on the continent. Multilateral issues will equally feature in the talks, including uh, the Multilateral Development Bank's reforms and Security Council reform uh, of the UN to enable the world cope with the evolving poly crisis of climate, debt, pandemics, and a multitude of security threats. The two leaders will then hold a joint press briefing at the White House after their bilateral talks. Uh, President Ruto will there thereafter deliver a keynote speech uh, on shared climate solutions at the Smithsonian uh, discussing global environmental challenges and collaborative efforts uh, to address them. This is what he has been doing, of course, as you know, for the last one and a half, one and a half years as a champion of climate change and the, way, the best way to mitigate uh, climate change. So as a champion of climate action, of course, he's also still the chair of CAHOSC. The day concludes with a state dinner on Thursday at the White House celebrating the enduring friendship between Kenya and the United States. Finally, on Friday, May 24th, the visit concludes with strategic engagements focusing on trade, investment, and digital cooperation. That includes a breakfast at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, where President Ruto will make the case for Kenya as a prime destination for U.S. investments. It will also hold a digital roundtable discussion hosted by uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, exploring the potential for expanding the U.S.-Kenya digital partnership. He will also pay a visit to the Pentagon, where the President will highlight Kenya-U.S. defense partnership in the fight against terrorism, extremism, and other emerging areas, uh, including cybersecurity. So that's a brief itinerary. Of course, there's a lot more, and they'll be announced uh, during the visit, and I'm sure you'll be following. Let me now uh, give some uh, time to the Principal Secretary, Sir Fiewitz. Well, thank you very much, Hussein. I think uh, that captures uh, the breadth and length of the visit. I think really what is important is that this state visit um, signifies a deepening in the relationship between the United States and, and Kenya and the areas of partnership, particularly in the peace and security um, area, will, will be one of the major areas of focus. Aside from that, like Hussein has mentioned, there will be huge emphasis on trade and investment. In particular, in the area of trade, as you know, the AGOA framework that has facilitated commodities from the continent to access U.S. market quarter-free and on preferential terms is lapsing next year. Uh, it is important that that framework be extended or be amended in a way that facilitates um, expansion um, um, of, you know, of access uh, to the U.S. market by by African uh, commodities. Um, again, I think just to mention, um, the focus will be heavy in the area of diaspora. We are very committed as government uh, to expand diaspora remittance and diaspora's contribution uh, to our economy. Um, 
that enhancing diaspora's voice is critical to our engagement going forward, and the President will also spend time with uh, our diaspora. I think on that basis, perhaps we could entertain a few questions.